Hey everyone, it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I was able to get to the Dollar Tree and um, I found a few Valentine stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you guys what I found. So, okay, this isn't Valentine related. So none of this stuff is really going to be in any particular order. Um, I'm just going to show you as I grab it. So um, I went ahead and picked up this. It's by Tool Bench. Uh, tool bench hardware you get 55 pieces in here and it's the picture hanging kit um, I am going to be doing my um, guest bedroom and I've got some pictures that I want to hang up so um, I thought I'd go ahead and grab one of these kits I'm not sure how well they work but we're gonna see so grab one of those um, the next things that I picked up, I've never seen these at my Dollar Tree. Um, they are by the brand Scrub It, and it's the disposable quick eraser sheets. You get five in here, so I went ahead and grabbed two packs. Um, these are kind of like the magic eraser sheets that you can get, but um, and I've never tried the magic eraser sheets, so I don't know how well they work, but... Anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and get these and try them out and see if I liked them. Um, the next thing that I found is this, also the Scrub It brand. And it's a microfiber cleaning towel, um, antimicrobial. You get two in here. It says it traps and removes dust and dirt, contains antimicrobial agent. So, um, I have never seen this at my Dollar Tree either. And yes, my Dollar Tree has, um, you know, the microfiber cloths and stuff, but I have never seen this particular uh, brand or this particular one. So, anyway, I thought I'd grab it and see how they worked. Typically, I don't like microfiber, um, but I don't know. This one feels a little different. It doesn't feel like that... Um, the usual microfiber that, you know, feels like it sticks to every little dry bit on your hands. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, I went ahead and grabbed that to see how I'm going to like those. And um, this is boring. I just picked up a package of these um, heavy-duty plastic spoons. You get 48 in here. They're just the plain white. But I ran out of um, spoons for my coffee slash hot cocoa bar. So um, I needed to grab another package of those. Um, the next thing that I picked up is another one of these Tumbling Tower games. Um, you get 72 blocks in here. So I don't use this to play the game. I just use this for uh, DIYs. So I went ahead and grabbed another package of those. Um, something else that my Dollar Tree had that I've never seen before is um, it was in the Crafter Square section. And it's the Woodcraft Cubes. You get 36 in here. And I've seen other people haul these, but um, my Dollar Tree has never had them. So when I seen them, I just went ahead and grabbed a pack of them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but uh, I'm sure I can figure something out. Um, also in the Crafter Square section, they had um, all these wooden... Uh, cut out pieces that you could, um, you know, paint yourself or whatever, but they had um, a bunch of these crosses, and they had some that were in different shapes, um, but they were still a cross, they just were a different uh, design, but I did go ahead and just grab this one right here, and um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing with this yet, but I do have some ideas rolling around in this noggin of mine, so... We'll see. So anyway, I did go ahead and grab that. Um, the next thing that was in the crafter square slash floral section, um, at least at my Dollar Trees, were these heart-shaped um, wreath frames. And these are the small ones. These are the ones they typically have in. Um, I've been seeing other people haul the Dollar Tree wreath frames that they found that are hearts that are bigger than this. Now, these aren't that big. These are the smaller ones. But the ones that I've seen, I don't believe they are Dollar Tree brand. I think those are the, I think they're the brand that comes from Walmart that you can get at Walmart. But anyway, I've been keeping my eye out for those. So I went ahead and just grabbed um, a couple of these heart wire wreath frames and, um, 
I am going to be doing a wreath tutorial using one of these wreath frames. So um, if you like wreath tutorials and things like that, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, that way you can know whenever I upload the video for that wreath tutorial. So um, let's see here. Okay. I needed some more chip clips because for some reason, I don't know, they're like bobby pins and socks. They just disappear. Um, but I went ahead and grabbed these. They are the power clips, multi-purpose clips um, for food storage, small toys, craft supplies, and paper files. Um, so you get three on here, which is pretty good. And these are, um, they're pretty strong, pretty strong uh, grips. So um, anyway, I just needed some more of these, so I went ahead and grabbed a package of those. Another thing that I picked up in the kitchen section was this Cooking Concepts spoon, and it is the ones that are um, silicone, but, and they're tiny. This one's a, a really tiny one. And I was looking for a spatula that's this size, but I couldn't find it. All I could find was the spoon, but... Um, I was eating this because the other day I was making chicken fettuccine alfredo and I was trying to get the alfredo sauce out of the jar and my spoon doesn't it just doesn't get in there and get around and get all the stuff out so I thought man I need a spatula but a small one one that will fit down inside a jar but all they had was the spoon so I thought I'd go ahead and try it and I think this would be um you know, this will fit right down in the spoon or right down in the jar. Now, when I use a regular like metal spoon, it helps get the sauce out, but it doesn't like bend and scrape. You know what I mean? Like a spatula would. So I'm hoping since this is made out of silicone, it's bendy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it'll work. I don't know. I just thought I'd, I'd try it and see. Um, okay. So in their Valentine's section, they had these really cute napkins and these are, they say XOXO, they have a heart on there, but it looks like, um, like a wood background and I think those are so cool. So I did go ahead and grab one package of these and there are um, 18 in here. So that should be plenty. I still have napkins left over from Christmas that I'm using right now. So. Um, thought I'd go ahead and grab those. Um, the next things that I found are these uh, little rolls of ribbon. Now, I don't usually use this tiny ribbon, but um, these are really cute, so I thought I'd go ahead and grab them. I'm, I was trying to find the big ribbon, the, the two and a half inch wide wire ribbon, but the Dollar Tree that I went to, it was all the ribbon was picked over, and this was it this is all they had left was these two different um styles right here which i think are still very very cute this one says um i picked you and it's sort of like a burlap ribbon which i think is really cute so i did grab one roll of this and it is nine feet um it is the five eighths inch so grab that one and then this one um has i don't know if that is i don't really know what that is some little a little animal on there tell me what that is if you guys know because it's at the tip of my tongue i just cannot i can't think of it right now <laughs> but anyway i thought that was so cute it was holding a little heart so i went ahead and grabbed that they also had the uh, treat sacks, and at Easter last year, they had treat sacks, which were really cute, and I did buy some of them. Um, this year, for a Valentine's Day, they have some treat sacks, which I think are so cute. So I did go ahead. They have the red and the pink. So I grabbed two of the red and then two of the pink. And these, you get three in here, um, and they're kind of like a, I don't know, like a linen or a muslin type material and um, I'm going to take this out and show you guys exactly what it looks like. This is the pink one. I'm just going to grab one of these out of here. But if you guys can see, now it does only have the heart on one side. It doesn't have it on the other side. But it's the pink heart. Now the string doesn't really 
match the color of the heart, but I mean, I guess that's not that big of a deal. Um, I got these because I think I may be making like a banner or something like that. And um, so I'm going to be DIYing these. But anyway, I thought they were really cute. So I went ahead and just grabbed two of the pink and then two of the red. Um, the next thing that I found is this happy, it says happy Valentine's Day. And it's these little like gift boxes, which these are so cute. I, like, I got this one because it, of course, has the little truck on there, which I think is really cute. Um, it has the truck on the front there. The side has a bicycle, which is really adorable. And the back has the bicycle. And then the other side also has the bicycle. Now this is, I would say, the medium-sized box. Um, they did have one that was identical, but it was a smaller one. So it would fit down inside here. Um, I'm sure they have maybe a bigger one that's even bigger than this. I don't know. My Dollar Trees didn't have hardly any of these boxes. So um, I just grabbed one. So this is the inside of it, which I think is really pretty. And then it's just pink on the inside. But um, I really like this Velcro closure right here. I think that's really cool. So um, I did get this just to set up as... Um, decor in my house for Valentine's Day, which I, I don't really decorate a whole lot for Valentine's Day. I just put a few little things out. But um, anyway, I thought this was cute. I'm trying to find the ones that I've seen people haul that look like gift bags, but they're the cardboard box type. And um, I haven't found any of those yet. So hopefully my Dollar Trees will be getting those in soon because I know they were just starting to put this stuff out. Um, the next thing that I found that's Valentine's Day related I think this is really pretty, but it is just a vase and it has um, a, a tree on there with a bunch of little hearts and then um, this little heart on the bottom that says love. So anyway, I thought this was really pretty and the tree is only on one side. The other side does not have it, but um, this would be really pretty. Like you can use it as like a hurricane um, vase, maybe put some vase filler in here. Um, and a tea light candle, um, a battery powered one, or you could even add flowers or whatever to it if you wanted to. But I think it's really, really pretty. So I did go ahead and grab this one. They did have one that was like this that um, I think it had hearts just all over it. It was either, it either had hearts all over it or it had the word um, love or something all over it. I don't, I don't really remember, but I just really liked this one. So I grabbed that. And then the last few things that I picked up here are these, um, flowers. Now they're starting to get out their spring type flowers. And what I'm really looking for is tulips, but I need a lot of tulips because I'm going to be making a wreath and I need quite a few tulips for that. And if you go to like Michael's Hobby Lobby, places like that to buy a bouquet of tulips or um, a bushel or whatever of tulips, they are very expensive. They're at least, you know, three or four or five dollars for a bushel. Well, whenever you need like 17 of them, that's going to add up. And I don't, I don't want to spend that much money. So um, anyway, I found these and these are the Rhinoculus. And they did have them in several different colors, but I am just really partial to like yellows and the peaches um, and the orange because they're just, I don't know, happy colors, I guess. But I did grab, let's see, three bunches of the yellow ones, which these are really, really pretty. I like how they have sort of that um, orange like the fading ombre look, the orange on the inside, which I think is really pretty. And these are pretty nice, pretty nice flowers. So I grabbed three of those. And then um, I went ahead and picked up, and this is all I could find of this color was, um, was these three. So these are more of a orange, I don't know, it looks like they're on fire <laughs> to me. It looks like fire, I don't know, it's really pretty because it's got the orange and then the yellow going down in there, so it looks like flames. Anyway, I think it's really, really pretty, so I did grab three bunches of those. 
And then these are probably my favorite because this is just a pretty, pretty color. It's like a peach color. Just so pretty. So I did grab three bunches of these. So anyway, that is the end of my haul, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I hope that you guys are having a good day. I wanted to thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!